So VR2 is definitely coming out next year. This is very similar to how Sony approached the information release for the PlayStation 5, but at a much faster rate, meaning that this this console, this headset, is coming out next year, and that is because the controller has finally been revealed for PSVR 2, which they wouldn't do if the console isn't in the near future, so I expect it to release next year, but let's dive into all of this great news for the uh, PlayStation VR 2 uh, controller, so let's dive into the first part of the article here. Following the recent reveal of our next generation virtual reality system for PlayStation 5, I'm excited to unveil more details about the new controller that will play a critical role in providing gamers with the VR experience we're working to deliver. Our new VR controller speaks to our mission of achieving a deeper sense of presence and stronger feeling of immersion in VR experiences. It will build upon the innovation we introduced with the DualSense wireless controller, which changed how games feel on PlayStation 5 by unlocking a new way to tap into the sense of touch now we're bringing that innovation to vr gaming so the first thing they get into here is the design which again it's very unique it's along this it's along what i expected but i didn't expect the orb i expected a ring of some sort but i didn't expect this orb this orb is very unique so let's get into the design the first thing you'll notice with our next gen vr controller is the unique design which takes the orb and orb shape that allows you to hold the controller naturally while playing with a high degree of freedom there are no constraints with how you're moving your hands providing developers with the ability to create unique gameplay experiences we also designed the new controller with great ergonomics in mind so it's well balanced and comfortable to hold in each of your hands we applied learnings from testing users with a range of hand sizes as well as the decades of insights from controllers across all PlayStation platforms. The result is an iconic design that will change how VR games are played. So big stuff to say about the VR2 controller. Again, I'm I'm so excited. I'm very very much excited for this thing. So let's continue on. Uh, features. The new VR controller enables players to feel and interact with games in much in a much more visceral way. There are several features, including key features from the DualSense controller, which match our vision for what next generation VR games can be. So they first get into here the adaptive triggers. Each VR controller, left and right, includes an adaptive trigger button that adds palpable tension when pressed, similar to what's found in the DualSense controller. If you've played a PlayStation 5 game, you'll be familiar familiar with the tension in the L2 or R2 buttons when you press them, such as when you're drawing your bow to fire an arrow. When you take that kind of mechanic and apply it to VR, the experience is amplified to the next level. So one of the big things that goes on with the VR space is trying to get some type of force feedback for your body or for your hand. And while this isn't to that level, this is a, this is a more uh, natural way of getting force feedback for your controllers instead of trying to buy a $500 suit or expensive gloves for your hand. So this is this is very I'm very excited for that. So the next things they get into is haptic feedback. The new controller will have haptic feedback optimized for its form factor, making every sensation in the game world more impactful, textured and nuanced. When you're traversing through rocky desert or trading blows in melee combat, you'll feel the difference, magnifying the extraordinary visual and audio experience that's so central to VR. So again, I've played with the uh, PlayStation 5 controller. You guys already know how much I love DualSense features. I love the haptics. I love the uh, adaptive triggers, especially in shooting games. Every shooting game going forward should have adaptive triggers and done really well, at, at, at least as well as Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But the haptic feedback is is something that that I really personally love in a game like Astrobot or even in a game like Control. The the, the when you feel the, the the character walking around, it's something small but something very immersive. Especially in Astrobot, when you feel when you're walking on metal, mud, grass, uh, uh, metal, whatever whatever it may be. I said metal twice there, but whatever it may be, you can tell the differences of how it feels. So I'm very excited to see how this feels on the VR2 control. But the next thing they get into here is finger touch detection. The controller can detect your fingers without pressing in the areas where you place your thumb, index, or middle fingers. This enables you to make more natural gestures with your hands during gameplay. So I this to me sounds like finger detection. 
I, I don't know because like it sounds like that they're, they're saying that it can detect your finger without actually touching any of the buttons. So Oculus Quest, the uh, Oculus Quest 2 can detect your fingers by touching the buttons and moving it. It'll re replicate that in game when you remove it from the button or touch the button. I don't it doesn't have actual finger tracking in between. So I'm wondering if this is similar but they're saying you don't have to press any of the buttons so is this the finger tracking that we saw in that gameplay demo it sounds like it it sounds like it but i'm not going to confirm it here it sounds like it very excited the next piece they get into is tracking the vr controller is tracked by the new vr headset through a tracking ring across the bottom of the controller so this could be similar to the oculus quest as well oculus quest is tracked through the ring so it has infrared tracking via the headset that has the cameras so this sounds like vr2 will definitely have cameras on the headset i'm not confirming this again i'm going off of what i know so this sounds like the vr2 headset will have cameras and it could track it by infrared or something else but it sounds like it will have cameras and it's going to track the controller through those cameras but to continue on action buttons and analog sticks the left controller contains one analog stick the triangle and square buttons a grip button l1 trigger button l2 and a create button the right controller contains one analog stick the cross and circle buttons a grip button l1 r1 uh, trigger button R2 and option buttons the uh, grip button can be used to pick up objects in game as one example so this is very oculus quest as well again i'm going off of just my experience i know there's a bunch of other vr headsets but the oculus quest has two buttons on each side of the controller and each each controller on your hand and it has a type of option button right under those buttons it has two sticks it has the ring with infrared tracking it has a grip button and it has a trigger button so this sounds very similar to what the oculus quest is which i'm not hating i love the oculus quest controllers so this is great news for me to hear very excited i like the design very unique as well uh i can't i can't wait but let's go on to the last bit of the article here sony interactive entertainment's product engineering and design teams have collaborated to build our new vr controller from the ground up with a goal of making a huge leap from current current gen vr gaming we're thrilled with the new controller we developed but what matters now is how game creators will take advantage of the features to design the next generation of vr experiences prototypes of our new controller will be in the hands of the development community community soon and we can't wait to see what ideas they come up with and how the controller helps bring their imagination to life there's still much more to share about the next generation of vr on playstation 5 on behalf of all of us at Sony Interactive Entertainment, I want to thank you for taking this journey with us. Very exciting stuff. I can't wait for PlayStation VR 2. Let me know if you guys are excited. Let me know if you think the controller design is weird or not, or do you like the controller design? Um, I'm just thinking about how much this thing is going to be priced, but at the same time, Oculus Quest 2 is a very cheap headset, and it has a similar controller to what we have here, besides the adaptive triggers and haptic feedback, which, of course, are going to elevate that gaming experience. But you guys let me know how you feel about uh, the PSVR 2 uh, controller. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps, and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with let's orbit up obviously in reference to the orb design of the psvr2 controller and if you're excited for it destroy the comment section with let's orbit up and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one